What we're here to do today is, uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we, the people, will rule. The people's business will be the people's business. <laughs> but lo and behold, 43%, 43%, 43%, I don't know how good your arithmetic is, but 43% is not a majority. 43%, 43% of the people sent this guy, Slick Willie, to the White House. <laughs> Since we have invited some people to participate in our presentation, uh, we'll hear from uh, some of those people. At least he looks good. We've given the Republicans 12 years of a chance, and what have they given us? Unemployment and a horrible, horrible presentation of the rest of the world. If he was so bad, uh, and by he I mean Ronald Reagan, he gave the people two things. One, they needed hope, belief, and self-respect. And two, they needed to see the economy recovering from the malaise, the malaise, the malaise. Remember that, the malaise we were in? People got the answer to both of those requests. Hope, belief, and self-respect. The malaise. Well, I disagree, Bob. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a brief Brief time out. Then we are going to meet our first uh, guest. Contact the following people to voice your opinion on President Clinton and the new agenda. Please, let them know what you really think. Just right. think of all the people who just jumped out of hotel room windows. I think it would be okay, because everyone has rights. I don't know. I don't know. He's going to decide to put the third gender, I don't know in there with uh, our uh, fighting men. And uh, that, of course, is the gays. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, have you ever met any gay, I don't know, who was really gay? <laughs> We're going to meet in uh, just a moment a uh, man who says he's a Vietnam veteran. Matter of fact, I know this uh, man because uh, he sat next to me on a television show. I was uh, so angered by uh, his uh, conduct, I threatened to punch him in the mouth. You almost and made course, me a millionaire. he said, uh, I wish you would because I need the money. And uh, I said, no, I'd be afraid of getting AIDS. Mike Anderson, uh, I'm sure you don't agree with a word that I've said. Uh, actually, I see you as a hate monger, sir, who is using uh, scapegoating as a way of getting uh, money for yourself and fame for yourself. When I contracted HIV, they didn't even have the word AIDS yet. Are we going to start punishing people for catching diseases, or are we going to help people treat those diseases. This is the point here. Now, the point How that you were missing on the, uh, HIV, let me, let me finish what I'm saying and then question, we will go. The question, point about Mike. HIV is it takes 10 years from time of infection to the time of getting sick. How did you get the AIDS? So people, Somebody sneeze on you or something? How did you get the AIDS? Excuse me, have you had sex unprotected since 1975, sir? In other sir? Words, you practice deviant sex. Okay. Have you had the HIV test, sir? Have you had unprotected sex since 1975? If so, you are at risk. You well, no, are I don't at risk. think I'm at risk. Whether you like to admit it or not. I don't think not. I'm at risk because I have had absolutely okay. nothing now, uh, to do uh, with you. No self-respecting guy would go into a drugstore and say, uh, <clears throat> can I have a package of condoms, please? <laughs> All right. Uh, we appreciate uh, Mike's I, I, coming I, over here. I, I, have a good day. Okay. I walk out and protest your bullshit. Now, I'm not saying he chose to be homosexual. As a matter of fact, I am one of those people who believe that this is uh, something that uh, people don't choose. They don't wake up one morning and say, I think I'll take vanilla. Why don't they keep their slick willy to themselves? Why do they insist on shoving it down our throats? <laughs> books that are trying to show you like that rainbow book two mommies and two daddies I don't know I don't know I don't know 
I don't know. Hold it up. 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 I don't know if you know where those are. Can I have a package of condoms, please? <laughs> Unmentionable. <laughs> uh, we have with us, however, a woman who looks fairly normal. You believe in condoms in the school. You support the Slick Willie Health uh, Care. Is that true? First, Mr. Grant, I want to thank you for inviting me to be a guest. What is that support? Get, get a load of this me, haughty, I just Get a load of this haughty arrogance. I want to thank you for inviting First of all, I did, uh, I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you. I'm being very polite. I'm thanking you. Well, I'm being very polite. And please allow me to speak. Truth in broadcasting. Truth in broadcasting. Truth in broadcasting. I did not invite you in. And of course, since you're all here, and since we have invited some people to participate in our presentation, I did not invite you. Okay. We have invited some people to participate in our presentation. Okay. I mean, I don't mind that you're here, and since okay. you are here, you're Thank welcome you very to speak. Much. Get the hook, take her out, I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. If that's the answer, if that's the answer, to shut me up, if the answer is oh, to shut me up and God. throw me out, here. Hey, look. forget about it, man. Look. America is doomed. Is this, is this why you came down here? You may, you may give these to your son. I certainly will. At least I won't have to pay for their right. aid. We will empower people, and we will respect the need for neighborhood stabilization. <laughs> And he didn't even bring any towels. <laughs> Forget about it, man. America is doomed. 